Hola YouTube! My name is Ricardo and I'm a mobile addict. It's been a while since Power Slide sent me skates and this time they didn't send me one, they sent me two boxes. <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you one, but if you wanna see the other box, which is not this, well, you're gonna need to subscribe to this channel. But now let's go to this box. You might have seen a couple of these boxes here on this channel, but you've never seen the skate that it's inside this box. And the reason for that is I have done a couple of reviews or even talks or first impressions about USD and 60 millimeters, meaning like the the more traditional grassy skate with smaller wheels. I've also done a couple of videos where I was using the USDA N72, but this one, you might have seen a lot of those on YouTube, but it wasn't me. And this is the USDA N80 millimeters. What's inside is a pair of USDA N80 millimeters. If you don't know what the USDA N is, it's a boot that has a, a unibody construction. Basically, there's no frame going out, there's no, there's nothing else but one piece, that's what it is. The frame and the boot, it's one piece only, there's no screws putting it together. But what's the most interesting about this one is that I look at these and I don't know if it's an aggressive skate, if it's a free skate, if it's a power blade, and you might be wondering, but what is a power blade? Well, power blade was a name created by Powerslide around 2010, 2011, 2012, when they had this house of skaters in Barcelona. I don't remember the name of the house. Anyway, it was the conference house, something like that. It was a couple of pro skaters like Richie Eisler, Dustin Rubeski. They used to live in Barcelona. They didn't have a car. They needed a pair of skates to move around, but they really enjoyed their boots. So Power Slide made the frame. There was a UFS frame they could just change in, like in the session, they would put the bigger wheels to go from one place to the other. And then they would get there and they would put the smaller wheels frame on their same boots. And that was the Power Blade. Some people really enjoyed it. Some people not as much. But the truth is, if you look at the skating that we have today, we have a lot of people with big wheels. Again, I don't know if it's an aggressive skate or a free skate, or maybe a free skate with soul plates. It is something, and it is cool. <laughs> this is a first impressions video. I can't really talk about how these skates feel, other than my experience with USD ANs in other wheel sizes. And what I know about these is that usually on a USD AN, you have a super low center of gravity because these wheels, usually the second and third wheel, on any aggressive skate or any UFS skate, when they're designing the frame, they need to have in consideration that right here, that's where the bolts to fix the frame to the boot are. The wheel usually needs to be a bit more far from the boot in order to have the space for the for the screw on the inside. Now on these ones, because it's a unibody construction, as I said before, you don't need that. And in fact, what USD did is, they actually even opened a hole. So if you look at this from the top, you'll be able to see some white piece in there, which is the wheels. Meaning that they not only don't need the space for the bolts, they even have a recessed space on the boot for the wheel to be closer to your foot. I don't think you can have an 80 millimeter setup that you have a lower ride than the USDA. I don't know how these is going to work. I always say that on big wheel skates, I usually like to have them not too low because I'm scared that I turn, if I go real fast or if I wanna do a wheel slide, I'm scared that the boot touches and I just slide out. Especially in a skate that has a sole plate. So I don't know if this is going to happen. You can see if it's going to happen when I make a review of these skates. I do know that the boot usually feels super snug. I do know that some people don't like how snug it feels. It's not a super tall boot. So usually the USDA and is like a lower boot. So if your foot is too tall, might not be the best for you. But they use on this skate, looking here, they're using the second skin liner, which is the slimmest liner that uh, my feet has. It will also help in getting a bit more space inside. I'm curious about this because I don't really know how it's going to 
feel or from what I've seen some people skating with these online mainly I've seen that people are able to do grinds a lot of grinds mainly with the sole space but at the end of the day they can also mix some flat ground wizardy tricks or some slalom style tricks or some free skating tricks so I'm curious to see what I can do with these too and in this video I just wanted to show you what we got here funny enough the wheels that we have here if it's a more aggressive orientated skate I would like to maybe see a wheel that it's a bit more fat in the profile I know that undercover has some of those and this is the undercover raw if you don't know what this is from what I know undercover up until two years ago or up until last year up until COVID I think there were all their wheels were made in the US but when they came out with their apex line which is the wheels that have the aluminum up they found a better way to make their wheels not being made in the US and that's when they also created this raw line. I've seen people saying a lot of good things about these wheels. I do not know if the raw line comes with a different profile other than this round one, more traditional free skate wheel. So yeah, it's just a, just a different skate. I would just say it's probably the lowest ride, 80 millimeter. Something that is also interesting about this skate compared to the other Aeons is that this is the only Aeon that has a ratchet buckle. I know some people on the Aeon 60s even only use the lace loops. I myself, what I do is I take everything, I don't like the noise that it does, so I just don't even use the lace loop or the, the Velcro strap or anything, I just use it without any of that. But on an 80 millimeter skate, because you're gonna be taller, this is probably gonna be something that I'm going to appreciate. Interesting too is that the A80 cuff that you got here also comes on the latest uh, Aeons. I know that this is the second generation of the Aeon cuffs. I know that they make a soft and a hard one. This is from what I know the hard one and it can be used in a low or in a high position. I would say or I know that a lot of people think that having it in a higher position going higher it's going to feel more stable but from what I've heard everyone's saying the lowest position of the cuff it's where it feels the most stable so i'm gonna need to test that and i'll let you know about that other than that it just seems to me like a simple alien with super big wheels super low to the ground not extremely long but longer than a regular 80s because it has a block i don't know what i'm gonna be able to do with this but i'm gonna let you know what i can do so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video do not forget to subscribe to this channel to see this review of this skate and to see what else I got there, the other box there. And other than that, if you enjoyed this video, you can also leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can leave me a thumbs down and let me know in the comments what you didn't like about this video so I can try to change for a next one. And more important than anything else, just don't forget why we all started skating. Because it's fun. So